Hello guys. Hello, this is Gurgi Joseph. Hey, it's me and Sweetie Beast coming once again from the Fire YouTube. Okay. So guys, these are pretty interesting guys. Yeah. These are Lebanese Easter cookies. Easter cookies, guys. Uh, these are very mm -hmm. special guys. Yeah. A little history behind them. My um, my aunt Leah and Leah, Lori, and Mary, uh, my cousin, actually they're my cousins, mm. uh, make these every Easter, guys. Uh, yeah. These have chopped walnuts, and these take a long time to make, guys. They take wow. the dough, they roll up the dough. Wow. They uh, chop up the nuts in it. Smells good. Mmm. Chop up the nuts really, really fine, guys. Yep. They put nutmeg, they put uh, brown sugar, mm. put sugar, they put, they mm. put little holes in them. Yep. These take about probably a good two, three hours to make. Wow. The process. My mom was telling me about these cookies. Yeah. I have they not seen while. these anywhere online. So I think this is a, like an old family recipe. They might have something similar to this online, but I know my uh, this came from my grandmother and my yeah. great grandmother's uh, recipe. So yeah, um, so but you can't. It's hard to find them. Actually, yeah, right? I mean, yeah. I think we're the like I've never seen. I have looked on Google, and there's no recipe on this. Ooh. And these are called Lebanese Easter cookies. Yeah. So. I, the pictures are totally different, so. Um, Amazing. Give you one right here. Yeah. But. Yeah. Every year my family yeah. makes this. Oh, wow. And so. Ooh, good smell. Yeah. These are my Ooh. favorite cookies ever, guys. Mmm. Here we go. I like them. Mm. They're unique, unique, you know, unique flavor to them. Mm. Yeah. It's like earthy, earthy flavor. Mmm. Really good. Mmm. I'm going to give them a. Uh, I'll take one more bite. <laughs> You think of it, it might it might be actually be good for you too. Where it's not in it. These are the type of cookies you can eat all day long. Mm. Very oh, expensive to make, guys. Yeah, three hours sounds like a lot of time. Yeah. Um, I want to give them a nine, guys. I'm really impressed. Not even a ten. Um. Anything above an eight, by the way, guys, is I'm impressed. So, think what you guys want to think, but I'm, yeah, I'm impressed. I mean, it's not the time. Mm. This is mm. just not, not the same. <laughs> no. I was awful close to ten, but nine. I like yeah. this, guys. This is one of my favorites. Yeah. It, it, it's actually... I mean, it's good enough to eat a few cookies a day, I yeah. mean, for sure. I mean, uh, the different, this one, you guys, it's different. It ain't no peanut butter cookies. It ain't, no taste like peanut butter. Um, it tastes uniquely different, and it's it's a unique recipe. Mm. And for, for for the creativity, I give it a 10. I think it's very creativity recipe. I don't know if anybody ever think, I don't think many people think of this recipe. Thank you. If it takes three hours to make, I don't think they would, but... Mm. Most of it's prep, 90% of it's proper. Mm. Do you see the cinnamon in this, too? A little bit? 
Nutmeg. I think nutmeg, cinnamon, mm. brown sugar, sugar, mm. walnuts. No. Um, a bunch of uh, my mom's friends and cousins, family members would all get together like for the weekend and just make a whole bunch and they get oh, wow. their family, you know, friends. Wow. And they would have like a line full of people. Wow. And like a prep line or a table that they used to put all this stuff on. And they would make the weekend out of it. So you have Lebanese in you? Do you or do you? Well, somebody asked about that um, mm. on my channel. Mm. Um, mm. My. Oh, wait a minute. I. I didn't think you clearly. Uh, my original yeah. background is I was adopted. Yeah. Um, yeah. At mm. um, three and a half years old. Yeah. I was originally Italian. I was born Italian. Yeah. But raised Lebanese. So my adopted parents were Lebanese. Wow. So my grandmother on my mom's side, or on my dad's side, was high 57. Wow. So she had a little bit of everything. My grandfather was full-blooded uh, Lebanese. Oh, wow. That's good to know. Yeah. So that's probably why they did this recipe, just yep. for, for your generate, for your uh, nationality. That's pretty cool, guys. Yep. Um, really amazing, guys. I, I think it's amazing uh, creativity. Um, it's probably a secret recipe, so. Is it, is it a secret recipe, by the way? You have to ask them, but. I don't see, I, yeah. from what I heard, yeah, is you can, you can get Easter cookies, but made a different way. Okay. So like these are made by my family. So these might not be the exact same recipe as other things. Oh, okay. I tried Googling it. I can't find these anyway. I can't even find a picture of these. Yeah. So I don't know if these are my grandparents' like homemade recipe that no one else has. You use flour too for this, right? Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it takes um, a lot of lot of work, guys, to make this. Yeah. And sometimes you can overcook them on top of that. So, yeah. You know, yeah. So, but yeah. anyway, so I don't yeah. not like hundred percent no. So what I'm gonna do is put in the title. Um, Family yeah. recipe of Lebanese Easter cookies. Okay. That's yeah. what I'll put in the title. So. Yeah. It's an interesting kind of food yeah. for sure. Um, well, glad to have you guys watching. Um, yeah. I, I, I want, uh, pre please subscribe, guys. Yeah. If anybody don't subscribe, hasn't subscribed yet, please. We, we have we do, we yeah. do all kinds of different videos. And I told um, my mom that yeah. I'll save her a couple cookies, but this is going to be hard not to resist the whole package tonight. <laughs> yeah. They are very tasty, yeah. guys. Uh, very, um, you know, I like cinnamon. I like nutmeg. I like the other ingredients in it. So, you know, it, it makes it easy. So that's good. Yeah. So anyway, guys, subscribe to my channel, Maine's Food Reviews, some more delicious content. Remember to subscribe, like, hit the notification button, and so peace, peace out. out. Hey, guys, God bless.